Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my extended family, much love to you as always. Thank you so much for the love and support that you extend out to me and other empaths each and every day. Oh my gosh, my allergies, y'all. It ain't even no joke. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. With that being said, much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my, my videos for a while and you have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video. Or even if you're just telling me about your empathic gift. It's all greatly appreciated as long as it's positive. And if you feel like, you know, my video has really put you in a good mood or just you know, open your eyes to things that's totally different than you realize, you know, spread the word, spread the love. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. I'd be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And today, the music I'm listening to, um, I'll turn it up a little bit because this, this, I don't think the tone changes up a little bit. But uh, it's called sleep, uh, Chakra Sleep Music, Open um, Healing Open and Empower All Chakras, Healing Frequencies, Meditation, Sleep Music. So I'll post that link in the description box below. So yes, in the video today is about Twin Flame 101, All Empaths, Find Your Inner Peace. Yes, we need to find our inner peace because we've been going through so much for so long. I, I mean, I constantly hear, you know, y'all tell me, Rosalind, I've been going through stuff, sis. I've been going through this. Can you send me some prayers? Yes, we've been going through that. We need to find our inner peace. You know, you need to meditate, you know, go on nature walks, find things that, you know, that makes you happy. You know, and I have to tell myself that find things that makes you happy. You know, I like to write. I like to draw. I like to sing. You know, I like to dance, act silly, you know, talk to friends on the phone every once in a while. You know, when I'm not feeling so anti, you know, I, I like to do things that, you know, brings you know, light to my life, joy to my life, you know, because we've been, you know, we've been light working, you know, we've been purging, we've been going through these different emotions, going through these different shifts, awakenings, kundalinis, ascensions, oh my gosh, you name it, we went through it. So it's just, you have to find that inner peace within yourself, do things that make you happy, do things that make you happy. You know, you have to find these things that, you know, you have to heal from that you know we've been dealing with for so long and i know i say that a lot but it's true it is so true when we go through things you know there's sometimes it's so hard to let go because if it was really traumatic to you to the point where it made you look at people different made you look at life different sometimes it's like things are sad that we have been through that it can make us bitter at times you know it can make us mean and it, it's just like we can be the most you know kind-hearted person but it could have been a really bad experience that made you really just look at people different and i've come across a lot of people like that hell i probably you know i've been that way myself you know i'm not saying probably i have been you know it made me close off from a lot of people and you know i probably missed out on a lot of opportunities because i was like that because it's just like if you've been through so much, we will put a wall up because we don't want to be hurt, you know, because you, you feel like there's something wrong with you. So you don't want to taint somebody else with the things that we're going through. But it's just the circle of life. We all got to go through things. We all grow from the things that we experience, from the people that we come across, you know, from even the mistakes that we've made. We all grow from them. So we have to find inner peace in knowing that things will be okay. You know, we're not going to always go through, you know, jacked up stuff. We're going to find a light in the end of that tunnel. It might take a minute, but, you know, we always got to go through things to get to it. You know that. So it's just like when we go through these things, I'm sorry, y'all, these dang on notifications be popping up like crazy. But, you know, we go through stuff and and it's just like, you know, I, I send prayers out to people. You know, I love when I can 
you know, I get the good news that, you know, that you got a new job or, oh, you know, or you finally found your, you know, we got a connection from your twin flame or, you know, things are getting better in your life. I love to hear that. And then if it's just something I can help people try to fix as, you know, as long as I'm, you know, I'm healing myself as well. You know, I love to be able to interact with people. So that finds the inner peace, being able to help people. And I forgot to mention that, too. You know, I love to help people, even when I can figure out, when I can help them figure out the issue that, you know, hey, you know, look at this this different way. You know, because there there's times that we might have to go through things because somebody might come across this and ask you, you know what, you've been through this before. Or how did you deal with it? You know, how do how were you able to overcome this? And you might be able to help somebody else get that peace, get their, you know, get their happy out, get their yayas and stuff. So you just never know. Because I mean, there's times that I've actually had that experience where I've had, you know, people come up to me and ask me, How were you able to get through something like this? You know, I'm struggling with going through this, this, and this, and this, and that. And I'm trying to figure out how can I be able to get through this. I'm really trying to figure out how. And I mean, it's just a day by day process. It's just like we can't get through things overnight. And I mean, there's sometimes I beat myself up because I get mad because I'm not over stuff as quick as I want to be over stuff. And I, you know, because it's just like you don't want to be dwelling over things but we just sometimes it, it can be so traumatizing or we have been so used to holding that 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 thing whatever that thing is to you that is you know that has hurt you or hindered you we've held it for so long as we've kept company with it with it so long we, when we actually had that chance to release it it feels weird you know you don't want no do you feel like a whole brand new person like what do I do? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is so scary because we fear the unknown. We, if we don't know exactly where our road is going to lead us, that can be a scary experience. But sometimes we, I mean, what well, we do is it's always a good thing for change. You know, anything that's going to bring anything positive to your life is always a good thing. You know, change, we, we don't want to be the same 10, 15 years from now. You don't want to still be miserable, you know, because I've been stuck in a rut like this for so long and I didn't understand why I was in this situation. And it took for my father to have to pass away for me to figure out what was going on, why I was feeling this way. So it's just like, you know, even though I went through a lot of traumatic things, it really brought me, you know, some positive solutions. So you have to really just look at your life like that. It's just like, yeah, we've been through things and we have to go through a process of healing and letting go of things. But it can bring you a lot of strength. It, it can bring you so many good points. That, But it's just only how you look at it. You know, you have to be able to look at it in a different way. You know, and it took me a minute to have to do that because there's so many times I would get so frustrated and just like, why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to go through that? And yeah, 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 I'd be all upset. But then after I cool down, oh, y'all, these allergies is just like, I, I need to go take me some more allergy medicine. But, um, yeah, it's just, um, just going through those things and having to be able to deal with them. It was actually a good thing. And it's just, you know, you have to go through that. And it's just, it's a process. It's always a process that we have to go through things and know, okay, I got through this. I, did, I wasn't, a, you know, a product of my situation or you know, I didn't become a victim of my situation. Yeah, you can be hurt and experience that, but you heal from it and you understand it and you know the reason why, you, you know, things had to be the way they are. Sometimes it's hard to explain. Sometimes you can figure it out. But I hope you were able to get something out of this video and I hope you had a blessed weekend and you enjoyed everything and you were able to purge and be able to see things in a different light and know that, the, that you are loved and you will always be prosperous and there's always somebody praying for a better you. So much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you. As much as you're getting to know me, send, you know, just send me a positive line, you know, some positive feedback. I love the chance to get to know you or even about your spiritual gifts. It's all greatly appreciated. Send out as much love and light as positively possible. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild. Well.